Hello, my friends. It is Sunday. It is Sunday. Oh! All right. So yesterday I went over the coffee hall from our vacation and today I'm going over the coffee mug hall. And in honor of that, I'm wearing this shirt. Now, Joe says I should have worn this shirt yesterday since I was talking about coffee. I opted to wear it today because, well, a lot of the mugs we picked up on the trip are from Starbucks. And since this is a parody of the Starbucks logo, I thought it more appropriate for today. So this is one of the, run, one of the main reasons, the leading reason why we had to purchase so much extra luggage on our trip. We went, I think, a little bit overboard buying mugs and in the the video i'm going to show you it's not just mugs we picked up a lot of different types of cups along the way and i i can't wait to share with you and tell the stories about them so the very first mug we picked up is the brand new manila philippines mug and we both saw this and said oh we have to get it and it's, I actually am starting to like this a little bit more than the original. The original had a jeepney on the front, and I don't quite recall what it had on the back. But this one has a kalesa on the front, the horse-drawn drawn carriage that you pretty much see all over Chinatown and a lot of the older areas of the city that was the primary mode of transportation in Manila. Uh, until the jeepney really came in full force. And then on the back, you have Fort Santiago and the intramuros area. And this really means a lot to me because this is one of the places that Joe and I go to frequently. So I love this cup. Now, the other cup that we got from, or the other mug we got from the Philippines is this, Tagatay. Now, this is the Mount Taal volcano, and you will be seeing our hike up there pretty soon on the Chi Ranger channel. But this mug holds a special place in our heart as well because it was not easy to get. Now we first found out that Tagatay and a few other cities had mugs while we were flying into the Philippines. And Tagatay has three different Starbucks. So we go to the first Starbucks, no mug. Go to the second Starbucks, no mug. Go to the third Starbucks, and there was one left on the shelf. And I made a beeline past everyone that was lined up right to the bookcase to pick up the Takatai cup. Now, I, uh, well, I won't share the rest of the story with you, but this is how difficult it was to get this mug. And we almost had to leave Takatai with no mug. And I'm so thankful that we got there. From there, from Philippines, we went to Siem Reap. And there's no Starbucks that we found there, so done with that. Then we went to Bangkok, Thailand. Now, in Bangkok, there were a lot of different Starbucks, and we did see a few. And we opted not to pick up any mugs while we were in Bangkok because we were going to come back to Thailand at the end of our trip. And we wanted to pick up the mugs then. But we did pick up one particular mug while we were in Bangkok. And I need to thank, again, Kritai from London Tea Cafe, who gave me this mug when we stopped by her shop. Now, again, it's located near Chitlam Station, in BTS Chitlam Station. Chitlam Station. And to, to me, this mug right here, because it came from a friend who has a cafe, and then I made the coffee, like I said yesterday, the Guatemalan coffee that she serves there is so good. This mug means more to me than any kind of Bangkok Starbucks type mug. This is the one that I adore. And so again, Kritai, thank you so much. I really do appreciate this. From Bangkok, we went up to Chiang Mai, and even though they do have a nice mug, we didn't pick up anything there. From Chiang Mai, we went to Singapore. Now, Singapore does have a lot of different Starbucks. They have a lot of different mugs, but we didn't pick up any mugs from a Starbucks. Now, the mug that I chose, I think is fairly representative of the city and something we picked up in Chinatown. 
And this is the mug. It's a Singapore. It's a fine city. Because everywhere you go in Singapore, there are listings of the fines. So some of the ones that are listed here, no feeding the bird, that's a $500 fine. No littering, a $1,000 fine. Uh, no leaving uh, food drinks and stuff around. That's usually on like the subways. That's $500. Urinating in uh, certain areas, that's a thousand dollar fine. Not flushing is a $150 fine. Spitting, a thousand dollar fine. No smoking, that is a thousand dollar fine. And of course, chewing gum, that's a $500 fine. Too bad there's, there's not the, the durian on the subway. That would have been really funny. But again, uh, everywhere you go, this is a joke all over Singapore. It's a fine city because the city has so many fines. So to me, this is representative of our time in Singapore. And I love this mug. Now, Jo, she really wanted to see the merlion, the, the emblem of Singapore. And that is what is on the Singapore Starbucks mug. But while we were shopping, she found this mug. It's, oh, it is so nice. So it says Singapore here. You have the Singapore skyline. And then right here, you have the Merlion. And this really is a fantastic mug. It's not quite, it, it's ceramic, it's porcelain or something. I don't know. It, it's a stone mug, it says. I gotta tell you, this is a fantastic mug. And again, I think it's more representative of our experience and our time in Singapore than this. You know, I don't wanna say generic Starbucks mug, but it has more meaning and I think it looks cooler than a Starbucks mug. From Singapore, we flew over to Kuala Lumpur and where is the Kuala Lumpur? Here he is. The Kalua Lumpur mug from Starbucks. And you have the skyline here. So you have the Patronus Towers and you have the KL Tower here. And then you have Joe's favorite building of the trip right here. The, uh, the, the I forgot the name of it, but uh, old it's, it's the Ministry of Information Technology uses it right now. But wonderful building and the mug is just awesome. I don't think we have one of these blue-ish, teal-ish, aquamarine color mugs. But again, a fantastic mug, and we had a great time in KL. I really enjoyed it. Great city. Would love to go back again. From KL, we went to Penang, and we went to Georgetown. And we had the opportunity to pick up the Penang mug. It, I believe it was orange. It had the the Penang Bridge on it, but it just really didn't mesh with us. We really wanted something from the old historic areas, and we just never really found anything until the last day. And this is a very special, not mug, but I think my beer drinking friends would really like this. This is a beer stein. And it's from the Heineken launch in Malaysia. And this goes back to 1984, December 1984. The Malaysian launch, December 1984 of Heineken. And unfortunately, during our trip, it did break here, here, and here, and here, because it's, it's a fairly gingerly mug. But this is very special. Uh, whoa. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. So we were able to pick this up. Oh, how much did you get? 50 ringgit. So almost 20 bucks. So she was able to use super glue and get it back together fairly easy. I'm still really nervous about holding it here, but I think it's holding together pretty nice. But it's a beautiful, beautiful mug. You have the windmills here and on the this side, I'm almost afraid I'm going to drop this. You have the the casks. Uh, it's it's just beautiful. So, twenty plus years, great great mug. We'll always remember of our classic time in Georgetown. And then from Georgetown, we went back to Thailand. Now, Thailand, we had a great time there, and we managed to pick up a lot of different mugs. So, since we were staying in Phuket. 
we picked up the Phuket mug. And you can see the, the long tail boats here and the island coastline. Just, just a great time and always great beach memories and walking around and sightseeing memories. Love the mug there. And then, of course, since we were up in Chiang Mai, we got the Chiang Mai mug because it's really well known for the elephant sanctuary up there, even though we didn't go. But we did go up to some of the temples and really enjoyed seeing them. And that's what kind of Tha uh, Thailand really sticks in my mind all the time we spent at various temples. Now, there's one more, and since Joe's not here, I can't ask her where she got it. I think she got it in Manila right before we came back. And it is a water glass. But what's interesting about it, it says on the side, water is amazing for healthy life. It's essential. It's simple, but important. And on the back here, it has some ratings all the way up to 500 mils. It says 100 mils, please. 180 mils, keep going. 250, you can do it. 400, good and healthy. 500, at least about four glasses every day. And Joe loves water, and I think that's one of the reasons why she picked it up. She drinks tremendous amounts of water, and I think that uh, she'll have a great time using that mug as well, or glass as well. So that is our vacation mug haul. And I have to say, I can't wait to wash them, pull all the stickers off, and start using them. And as the cold winter unfolds before the window here in the office. I can't wait to sit back and have a mug of coffee from one of the fantastic warm places that we went. So uh, there you have it. Again, uh, thanks for sticking around this long. Before I go, please leave a comment down below and tell me what was the last mug, cup, something that you purchased that goes associated with a container for drinking. I'd love to hear from you. All right, until tomorrow, my friends, be awesome.